We are riding the wind this morning on a path to a new career. Aaron Niles and Jennifer Safer. Safir. Safir. I was close. Yes, are here this morning with uh, more about becoming a wind turbine technician, which is a fascinating uh, idea and a fascinating place to, uh, to work. Tell me what it takes to do this job and to do it well. Well, first off, it takes a uh, no fear of heights sort of attitude. <laughs> right. So you will be working at high, uh, high heights, so usually about 300 feet actually in the air. You'll be doing uh, most technical work, so electrical work, mechanical work, and hydraulic work. My goodness. Yeah. How long is the program? How long does it take to get it's, to this point? It's an 11-month program. Um, basically, what we do is we gear up uh, our students to to kind of break into the field as you know entry-level uh, employees. Wow. Yes, and. Uh, Basically, they'll be learning about their uh, industrial safety, industrial electricity, hydraulics. Um, you'll learn about wind physics and, and oh, everything goodness. that goes into becoming a wind turbine technician. So, Wow. So, and, and in addition to the knowledge, what kind of skills are you learning as you put that program together? Uh, the skills, um, there's, there's an amazing amount of skills you'll learn. So uh, you'll have like laser alignment as far as generators go. So you'll be aligning generators when you're, uh, you're doing your job as a wind turbine right. technician. And, uh, there's just... Do you get to go out there and work and get hands-on training? Because it seems like the kind of thing yes, you need to do that. Yes, absolutely. We actually have a two-week boot camp uh, right. basically at the end of the program. So when students finish their, their program, they come out to Kansas City. If they're not living in the area, we actually fly them out and they attend our campus for two weeks where they get hands-on training doing everything a wind turbine technician would do. That's amazing. So you're going to help me get this contraption yes, on. Tell absolutely. us a little bit about the other career services and other things that we need to know okay. as he's helping me with this. Yes. I, um, I'm in career services and right. I work with the wind students, of course. And basically my oh, role is to get them prepared uh, to hit the ground running about three months before they graduate. Right. And it's so cool it's because um, all these down. employers, uh, we work oh, together no. with, closely with employers. And I looked at my caller ID one day, and one of the biggest companies in the field was on my caller ID. And I right. thought, oh, that's nice. That is a nice thing. Yeah. Isn't it? Oh, yeah. Almost like jaw dropping. It's going to go up and over your head. This is amazing. <laughs> and the thing is that they have to, you have to be working up there with this on. With this on. This is generally worn as you climb the tower, and anytime you put yourself in a position where you might fall, if there's a, a potential to fall, you'll be wearing this and you'll be 100% tied off. So you'll always be wearing. This in that position, right. as long as well as uh, as lanyards attached to anchor points. I need my safety. Yes, how you do. How, so, how much weight though, when these these uh, men and women are working in this field? Well, how much weight this alone is pretty light. But once you actually get all your gear on, all your lanyards, right. your your bag that you want to take, and your personal yeah, tools and everything, you're looking at probably an extra 30 or 40 pounds that you're carrying with you up tower. My goodness. I think I, I'll just wear this the rest of the day and, and always <laughs> attach myself to something. I'll never fall over. I what wore you, the full gear once, and I just felt. Very cool. What was that like Very for you? Cool. It was amazing. Uh, we have a tower out in Parkville, and right. um, so I got to go up and have the um, simulated experience, so to speak. And I came down and I touched the ground. Was just like, this is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and imagine doing that as a career. What a great every day it's, you might have that feeling a little. It's bit. amazing, and it's like every single day is different too. And you get the most amazing views when you're up tower. Um, I was actually up in Oregon and Washington working up there and we had view of five different mountains up there. So we had like wow. Mount Hood and Mount Adams That's and amazing. Mount St. Helens, like all from one tower you could see five different mountains and it was just How, how far up are the towers? They're about 300 feet up. My goodness gracious. And they're growing, aren't they? And they're growing. They're going. They're getting higher getting and higher bigger. too. No kidding. Yep. So that first thing you said, no fear of heights, no probably heights. a pretty important thing to have. Pretty important. This is amazing, and this, it, it's not terribly heavy, but when you start to think of everything on, you're going to pile on and to do the job. Absolutely. That's really and if, if you're so for more the information, you can visit PCITraining.edu, or you can call 1-800-615-8100 and get more information about this. It's really a fascinating career possibility for you, and you'll get a view of the world like no other. View of the world. I feel very safe right now. <laughs> I could just go almost anywhere. Let's see what's happening.